my fellow readers i am back with part two of my manga order uh, so this is the contents of the second box of manga and let's just get right into it i'm excited to uh, see what was inside this one is a larger box than my previous one <laughs> so i got in chobits volume three i am still waiting for I think it was volume one. I think I have now two and three. I can't remember if four is out. If it is, it's on order, or even if it's pre-ordered, it's on order. I just haven't gotten it yet. Volume one was in another order that just got delayed again. So I don't know when I'll get volume one, but it is on order. So now I have two and three. Again, not a huge deal for me because I do already own Chobits. I've read it. Um, I just wanted to gather the uh, collector's edition. Um, It does have nice like full color artwork in the front so and i think i am due a reread of this pretty soon mine uh looks like it's slightly damaged up here there's like discoloration there's something weird going on there so i don't know what happened usually when i get stuff from right stuff which is where this came from it's usually packed really well and really clean so i'm not sure what happened but uh, this ran into a couple issues apparently. Next in the box, I got volume four and five of Night of the Ice. So I still haven't gotten to read the first volumes yet, but I am looking forward to this. It looks like a good uh, shoujo slash jose. And yeah, I am interested. I'm gonna be reading this as soon as I can. Count on it, I just haven't gotten to it yet. Next, really heavy, really beautiful, are volumes 7 through 9 of Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Edition. These are so, so pretty. Beautiful hardcovers. Hopefully I can catch up to the publication release. I'm still a couple volumes behind, but these are an investment. Still, I'm happy to own them. They're beautiful. Um, again, must have been my box was dirty because they're a little dirty up at the top, which makes me a little bit sad. I wish they were more pristine, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. They're still beautiful. Next in the box goes with the volume that was in the other box. This is six through nine of the legend, the heroic legend of Arslan. So six, seven, eight, and nine. So I now have volumes 1 through 10 of The Heroic Legend of Arslan. I'm excited to get into this one. I haven't started reading this yet either, but I'm definitely going to. I heard that if you like Yona of the Dawn, you will also like this. I hope that's true. I hope I really like it. Um, again, this is adapted by Hiromu Arakawa. So all the artwork is done by Hiromu Arakawa, but the original story was Yoshiki Tanaka. Here. Next is the continuation of another series that I picked up in my previous like April order, and that's Osan Idol. This is volume three. Again, I have not read volumes one and two yet, but I really want to check out this one too because it looks interesting. Again, about somebody who, older who gets into the idol scene. So I think this will be fun. <laughs> So you probably knew this was coming from the other order, um, but here is the rest of Daytime Shooting Star. This is volume 6, 8, 9, and 12. I think I am missing one volume. I think, oh, maybe two. I think I, oh no, we got 8 and 9, so I think it's just one volume. I think I'm missing volume 10. <laughs> I think I have now everything up to nine missing t 11 no missing 10 have 11 and 12. Uh, 12 is the final volume sad about 10 i'm not sure i know that i ordered everything but again if they were sold out at the time they're waiting 
for the shipment to come in. So I'm not sure when that'll get here. Um, but I do have the whole series on order. So it's a little sad that I can't read all the way through to the end yet with that volume missing. But since I have read it before, it's okay. I can wait until 10 gets here, whenever it does. Um, I know too, there's lots of delays with the publication of print works right now. Um, so I'll hang in there. I, this is honestly the first time where I've had a lot of issues with um, the books coming in from Right Stuff. I just noticed that volume eight is damaged up at the top. I don't know if, when you can see that damage there and it's creased up here. So I don't know, I don't wanna do a return. Um, but that is very disappointing. Um, yeah, I'll have to think about what I want to do because usually that only happens when I get stuff from Amazon and the way it's packed because Right Stuff does an amazing job of packing their books up so that usually there's not a lot of rubbing. They can't like move anywhere. So I don't know if this happened pre-packing. Um, yeah, that's disappointing. Oh, well, moving on. So next in the box is volume one. Oh, and again, there's a little damage here at the bottom of this. Right stuff. What is going on? I've never had a problem. Um, this is volume one of Starcrossed, and this is by Junko, who um, has written a lot of BL works, but is most well known for Kiss Him, Not Me. So this is a new shoujo series uh, by Junko, and I look forward to seeing what this is like. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a series that uh, deals with a popular idol and a fan, so it looks fun. I'll check it out. The next in the box is another series by Natsumi Ando, which I mentioned a bit in the previous opening, but this is her other work, which I believe is a bit more mature, um, but it is Something's Wrong With Us. And I believe I've ordered the whole series or as much of the series as is released, but in this order we have volume one, two, three, four, and five. So I look forward to this one. I think that I started reading this series a while ago, not even realizing that it was Natsumi Ando, um, but I look forward to picking this up. One, seeing if it is the series I'm thinking of, and two, if it is, seeing how it concludes, because I was really interested in it. Um, but essentially it's about a girl whose mother is a sweets maker and she's going to follow in her mother's footsteps. Um, and she's really, really good at making Japanese sweets. And then um, through happenstance or whatever, she recognizes Tsubaki, her first friend, and also the boy who framed her mother for murder over a decade ago um, as the only witness to the crime. So this is kind of Nao's chance to find out the answer and maybe get a little bit of revenge. That's why I'm pretty sure I read like this part of the story. And so I'm really interested to see what does happen between the relationship between the two and um, what happened about that whole murder thing and, and being framed. So it's gonna be an interesting story. Again, um, more in line with mystery and thriller than um, you know, traditional shoujo. So looking forward to it. I also have in here volume 14 of The World's Greatest First Love, which I have no idea when this series will end. I think that the author might finally be en ending the Junjo Romantica, so <laughs> we'll see if, if, uh, World's Greatest First Love will also come to an end. Um, can we Can we actually finish it? Come on. <laughs> it doesn't need to be this long. And the last part in this box, so I did not end up getting the missing volume for Arissa in this order. So I will also have to wait to read Arissa until I get that missing volume. And 
the uh, the last thing in this box is actually Arata, The Legend by Yuwadase, which I bought volume one for um, a long, 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 long time ago, like when it first came out. And then I was like, oh, this is interesting, but I want to let it play out a bit more. Um, it can be really hard with long ongoing series to wait <laughs> for all the volumes. Um, so I am going to go through and start buying all of Arata. Um, I think there's like maybe 23 or 24 volumes presently, but that was another series. Um, you put it on um, hiatus while, while ill or something. I think it was just an illness. I don't think it was a publication issue. Um, so the series went on hiatus years ago, leaving us with the 20 some odd volumes. Um, but just recently was announced that that's going to be picked up again. Um, I kind of wish the Byako Senki or whatever it's called, <laughs> Fushigi Yugi series would be picked up and finished because I was really intrigued by where that story was going and I want more than just volume one. But if Arata gets finished first, that's fine. I hope that the series isn't too, too long. Um, but yeah. I'll be reading it. Uh, we'll see if I catch up <laughs> with all of these volumes <laughs> before it starts getting published again. But anyway, so this was uh, 6, 7, and 8. I believe I also have 9 and 10 on order, but maybe not. I know that I have uh, 2 through 5, I believe, on order. Hopefully I didn't get mixed up in how I was ordering them. Um, but again, that was in an order that had pre-orders, so it's kind of on hold right now and I'm waiting. So I will not be reading it until I get the two through five in. <laughs> Little bit disappointed. Um, but yeah, happy to start getting more Arata volumes, finding out what happens. Um, as you can tell, there is still a lot of other manga coming in, so I am not done. Um, but this might be it for May. I might not get the other orders until June or July. Um, part of that will depend on publication. Like I said, I think I got notices of two things being delayed that I had on order. Um, one, actually, hopefully they will send the rest of the order because I believe one's publication has been pushed back till next year. Now, whether or not that will stay the case, I'm not sure they could end up bumping publication on it. But um, yeah, I was not too happy to get that notification and also really hoping that um, that doesn't hold up any other order. I will mention quickly, I'm just here and chatting about new editions. I did get the latest volume of Love Me, Love Me Not as well, um, which was, oh look, I got it here. Uh, volume 8. This I think I just picked up from Amazon because I wanted it right away. Um, I don't know if I showed this one, so Sasaki and Miano volume 2. And then I also got um, the final volume of Short Cake Cake. And so I do plan on doing a review, a series review of Short Cake Cake fairly soon. Um, I did very much enjoy Short Cake Cake. And I'm looking forward to the next Sue Morishita series, which I'm trying to remember the title of. I think it's a sign of affection um, about a deaf character and a character that likes learning languages and so it's going to be like about learning to communicate um so i look forward to checking that out after i finish short cake cake that's it for this video until next time bye so i just wanted to add because i was putting away the manga that i just opened and i had been kind of dogging right stuff uh it was not their fault at all. I just found a note at the bottom of the box that my box had been damaged in shipment somehow. So there was actually a note from the post office saying that your box may be damaged and there might be contents missing. Now, luckily I went through um, the whole order, the shipment listing of the contents and everything that was supposed to be in that order was in that order so I didn't lose anything but the damaged books are probably from the post office and not the fault of right stuff. I did think it was weird that the box looked so dirty 
and everything, but I didn't think too much of it. That note was like at the bottom of the box, so they must have like taken the stuff out. And that's probably how those books got damaged. It's a little bit disappointing to me, um, but I doubt I'll take like any action because the contents themselves, like they're not damaged to the point where I can't read or enjoy them. But um, there's just some like grime and that one book where the, the cover is kind of messed up, which maybe I'll, I might rebuy or I might just leave it as is and um, just every time I look at it be annoyed. Um, but again, it's not right stuff. I'm sorry, right stuff. You're fine. Um, thank you for always doing such a great job shipping. Unfortunately, the post office did you dirty and <laughs> messed up my package and I didn't see that letter from them alerting me to that fact until I'd taken everything out. Um, that is disappointing, but it's something that I can live with. Um, be aware of that, that that can happen just because it's shipped, you know, um, you have no control over that once it is shipped. Uh, and these companies, they do the best that they can to ship them out to you in good condition, but you never know who's handling it. And um, I don't know, might be a little bit too aggressive <laughs> with the boxes. Uh, again, too, I don't know if you remember my story about the uh, the book that went missing um, but yes I do have that missing item that's out there somewhere I had to get the replacement for it um, maybe this was a disgruntled employee that had thrown it and then they had to recover the item who knows who knows I just know they did acknowledge the fact that they damaged it it was the post office um, you know maybe that's why less and less people are trusting to ship with the post office I don't know <laughs> <laughs> there's problems with every delivery um but I just wanted to say that and uh don't think that your boxes will come damaged if you get it through right stuff I highly highly recommend them they always do an amazing job packaging everything they have like the best prices it's always well worth shopping there um and I mean that was just so rare for me to notice any kind of damage on any book that I've gotten from Right Stuff because usually everything is like pristine when you get it from there. So again, in this case, it was the post office. So I don't, I, I can't uh, defend the post office here, but I can defend Right Stuff and say it's not their fault. Um, somebody screwed up at the post office, and you know at least they did acknowledge that instead of just like delivering my box and being like, oh yeah, <laughs> there you go. Um, but there you go. There's the completion of the story. I wanted to make sure that I got out there that it was not Right Stuff's fault, that it was post office fault, and that nobody got scared of shopping at Right Stuff. They do an amazing job. Please go shop at them. This is not sponsored. It's not an ad. Just saying, please, please do go and shop at Right Stuff. It wasn't their fault. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for allowing me to spend some time defending Right Stuff. <laughs>